What's up everyone, it's Andy from Dino, and if you haven't heard, we just landed a new API on Dino KV, which makes it easy to detect changes to your data. That's right, Dino KV Watch is here. But what does that mean for you? Building real-time applications, social media news feeds, notifications, analytics, collaborative editors, multiplayer video games, and more just got a lot easier. And if you don't know what Dino KV is, it is our asset-compliant key-value database built right into the runtime. Like everything, it's zero config, so no provisioning a database, or juggling API keys. Instead, connect to your database in a single line of code. Also, when you use it with Dino Deploy, it turns into a globally distributed database that's highly performant with multiple read regions. For more content about KV, check the links in the description. Let's dive right in. The new watch function takes an array of keys and returns a readable stream, which emits a new value anytime the watch keys change their version stamp. Here's a simple example. Let's take a look at the 408 block. Every time counter is incremented, the readable stream is updated, prompting the 408 to iterate to the next element. Another way to think about it is to use KV watch as a readable stream. In this example, we use get reader to create a reader. Then within a while loop, we can await stream read to get the contents. Okay, that's great. But if I'm making an app, how do I send updates to the client? You can use KV watch with server sent events or web sockets. Let's expand that last example with readable stream to include Dino serve our simple web surfer. In our HTTP handler, let's create a new readable stream that uses KV watch and return to the client as a server sent event. Let's throw this into a playground. You can see that it's updating the client every time the counter is incremented without needing a page reload. If you want more examples, check out the links in the description where we have a multiplayer tic-tac-toe game and a shared to-do list, both using Fresh as a web framework. If you found this helpful, please let us know in the comments. And if you have more detailed questions, please check out our active Discord. <laughs>